So it's 1848 and the Whigs are thinking, gosh, we really suck at this electing presidents thing. I mean, our last guy died after 30 days, how much worse can you get? So they got a guy who never showed interest in politics, never held office, and never even voted, and said, hey, let's make him president. So the 12th president of the United States was Zachary Taylor. <sighs> Oh, oh, sorry. It's just Zachary Taylor was such a boring president that I fall asleep just mentioning him. I mean, look at him. He looks like some creep you don't want to sit next to on the bus. Not the president of the United States. Taylor was 62 and spent 40 years in the military fighting four wars. He was the last president to own slaves, but he was moderate on the whole issue. And around this time, slavery is becoming the big political issue. By far the most interesting thing about Taylor was his death. He was at a July 4th picnic and he was really sick with typhus. So he spent the whole day inside eating cherries and drinking milk. And he got really sick from the cherries, so the doctors were like, hey, let's give him a lot of syrup of Ipecac. So that while we're bleeding this 64 year old typhoid ridden man, he can also constantly be throwing up. So the last Whig president did what the first Whig president was so much better at doing and died in office.